American Indians are the people who were living on the North American continent before the arrival of Christopher Columbus in 1492. There were hundreds of different tribes native to both North and South. Historically, we have called these native people Indians by mistake. Columbus thought he had reached the continent of India. Today we use the term American Indian because that is a term he used in the Constitution. Following the establishment of the United States of America, Native Americans were denied basic civil rights for many years. The Trail of Tears is a name given to the forced relocation and movement to Native American no nations from southeastern parts of the United States following the Indian Removal Act of 1830. The removal included many members of the Cherokee, Musokoji, Seminole, Chickasaw, and Choctaw nations, among others in the United States, from their homelands to Indian territory. The Indian Removal Act was signed into law by President Andrew Jackson on May 28, 1830. While Native American removal was supposed to be voluntary, great pressure was put on Native American leaders to sign removal treaties. In 1823, the Supreme Court case Johnson v. Mintosh handed down a decision stating that the Indians could occupy lands within the United States but cannot hold title to those lands. This was because the right of occupancy was subordinate to the United States' right of discovery, which meant Native Americans could be removed from the land at any moment. American Indians are also a racial group who sometimes face discrimination, the same as African Americans. Before the civil rights were laws were enacted, in some states you could find three separate drinking fountains labeled whites, colored, and Indian. There were even divisions in movie theaters. All of the civil rights laws that protect people from discrimination also pertain to American Indians. Indian Civil Rights Act in 1968, which was also called the Indian Bill of Rights, guarantee Native Americans many civil rights that they have been fighting for. The ICRA supports the right of free speech, press, and assembly, as well as protection from unreasonable searches and seizures. The right of a criminal defendant and to confront any adverse witness also protects against self-incrimination. It's against cruel and unusual punishment, excessive bail, incarceration, for of more than one year or a fine in excess of $5,000 for any one offense. Protects Native Americans from double jeopardy, the right to a trial by a jury, and equal protection under the law and due process. The Indian Civil Rights Act of 1968 applies to the Indian tribes of the United States and guarantees most of them the Bill of Rights. Before the Indian Civil Rights Act, a tribal member disliked of a tribal government decision was dealt with in one of two ways. Either the tribal member had to accept the decision or he or she had to leave the tribe. Today, leaving the tribe completely is not a necessary option. Tribal sovereignty in the United States refers to the inherent authority of indigenous tribes to govern themselves within the borders of the United States of America. The federal government recognizes the tribal nations as domestic dependent nations. There are over 550 American Indian tribes that have tribal governments that are recognized by the United States in a government-to-government -government relationship. There are also approximately 300 federal Indian reservations in the United States. On an Indian reservation, the tribal government performs many of the same functions as the state governments. There are tribal court systems, departments of justice, and police forces on most reservations. Indian reservations are usually lands that tribes kept when they entered into treaties with the federal government. Indian treaties have the same recognition under the federal law as treaties do with the foreign governments such as France or Germany. Some Indian reservations are land bases that are larger than some states. The Navajo reservation is approximately 14 million acres of land. The state of Massachusetts is approximately 5 million acres. The One River Reservation in Wyoming is merely 2 million acres. There are 12 Indian reservations that are larger than Rhode Island and 9 reservations that are larger than Delaware. The Navajo Reservation, which is the largest and is larger than 9 states. Basically, the Department of Justice sued a school district in Utah for not having a high school in the community of Navajo Mountains. The Navajo and Paiute High School, age students who lived in this community, all had to go more than 90 miles from home and live in dormitories or with relatives and attend boarding schools operated by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. The school district had built high schools in the communities where non-Indians lived. 
The school district argued that because the Indian lived on a reservation, they didn't have a right to a public school built and operated by the district. American Indians are citizens of the United States and the states where they live. The court ruled that even though they live on an Indian reservation, American Indians have rights to receive all of the same services that a state and county governments offer to all of its citizens. The settlement of this lawsuit required that the school district to build a new high school in this community. The lawsuit was the first time the Civil Rights Division had ever enforced the education statutes on behalf of American Indians, both the Navajo Nation and the United States joined the lawsuit to support the students and their parents. The Native American people have progressed at an incredible fortitude since the United States was established. At first, the Native American people were treated as a second-class citizen and had no rights. The white Europeans that arrived at their home tried to civilize them by converting them and taking their land. Even when the United States was established as a country, the Native Americans were still treated very poorly and had no civil rights. Native Americans only began to receive citizenship in 1924 and equal rights in 1968. This act gave the Native Americans the right of the 14th Amendment, which guarantees to all persons. Native Americans receive their own reservations, where they are allowed to have their own governments and aren't taxed by the federal government. This allows the Native Americans to build their own casinos. For example, the Hard Rock Casino. It took almost 200 years for Native Americans to finally receive their civil rights, and now they have them.